Hey guys, welcome to Horror Trial Studios. And today we are going to talk about weeaboos. So you're probably wondering what is a weeaboo and why are you whispering so creepy like that? How do I explain it? Hmm. I think I have to explain the tacos first. Like I said before about the Takus, we love our animes and our mangas. We're just huge fans, we even dress up as our favorite characters. We're just nerdy for Japanese cartoons. Deal with it. Now the term weeaboo. Weeaboo is a very negative thing in the internet I have noticed and it's like a person who loves of course, anime and manga, but also obsessed with Japanese culture so much that they abandon their own and say something like, oh, I'm Japanese. Like, I think I have Japanese blood or something like that. Japan is greatest. And this is making so much people look bad. Like, they're making us the anime fan look bad, they're making people who even like, enjoys Japanese culture like myself look bad. And freaking A, I'm gonna be called a weeaboo in the future, so... Eh. Thanks, you're making me look bad. Well, after I finish reading this manga, I think I'm gonna watch a little bit of anime and probably play some Devil May Cry games. And what else to do? More anime tomorrow, that's for sure. I think people are mistaken having a summer body sword makes you a speed boom. I have one in my closet. I can't find it. I wanted us to use that example, but I guess not. It's cool. It's okay to have samurai swords, okay? I think it's alright. Doesn't make you a boom. Chillax. But probably posting videos thinking you know what you're doing. Just like, oh, this is how they do it. I saw them. Anime does this type of style. Yeah, that would be weeaboo-ish. Weeaboo. Uh, I guess I kind of judged harshly on a girl who was cutting watermelons. Like, I was like, hmm, is that a little weeaboo? No, I don't. But if she was just cutting watermelon with her samurai sword, I guess it's not that big a bunch of weeaboo. Like, everyone would do it. Everyone does it, not with just a samurai sword, just cutting watermelon. And joke's on me, she gets watermelon and I don't. I want some watermelon, what the freak? Okay, so I feel like I keep seeing a taco fandom being mistaken for a weeaboo thing. It's like, okay. Let's say you see videos of people running like Naruto and doing their juice do. Did I say that right? And. Oh. Shush. I guess it's just basically the types of doing fun fandom th stuff. That's all. I don't really see it as weeaboo. Unless you're literally running like Naruto all the time, you made that. 
you adapt it as how you run, I probably would consider that really blue. Or you'd probably think, oh, people run or how ninjas run because I saw it in the anime. Very wee blue. Wee blue. Boo, what's the fuck? Uh, yeah, I think that would be really boo. Having a body pillow? Not really boo. It's just an anime fan of thing of having those big pillows with your favorite anime character. But making out with it and marrying it with I have seen. Eh. Like, seriously? I wouldn't consider it really boo. It's just. The sad otaku. I'm gonna call it that. The sad otaku. And it kind of ruined it for me for wanting to get a body pillow. <laughs> I guess you're wondering, like, why you want a body pillow? It's an anime thing, people. It's, you wouldn't understand. And plus, I'm going through a breakup, so I want a sexy Kakashi to cuddle with. So. But the guy who was making up with it just ruined it for me. Thanks. Thanks. Why you have to be so creepy? I just want to cuddle with a pillow, not that. So what I'm trying to say in this video is... It's okay if you want to wear a kimono. It's okay to like anime and manga. It's okay to like some bits of Japanese culture like I do, okay? It's okay, but don't abandon your own saying your Japanese, speaking it wrong because you're learning it from learning it only from anime and going saying crazy shit like, oh, I believe I'm a yao. Ugh. I about to say yao, you know, weeaboo. The topic is weeaboo. Uh, but you know, it's okay. Just don't be stupid and arrogant about it. You know? Just be a student of Japanese culture. Learn Japanese culture from doing research. Watch YouTubers who are Japanese, you know, it will, it will help. Just remember, there is so much more in Japan than you just seen in anime. There's so much more. And you, really, just so much more to offer. They don't even portray half of it correctly sometimes, you know. It's anime, it's fiction and stuff. It's fictional stories. I'm worried that I'll be considered a weeaboo because I would like to do videos about like Japanese inspiring fashion trends or do inspiring looks from a manga character and that I like a bit of Jap Japanese culture like the geishas, yokais and I don't really think I consider myself Beeboo just for liking those things. It's just Beeboo, so that's have to ruin it. But no, it's I like Japanese culture. I'm not gonna ban my own. I would like to do videos inspired of bits of Japanese in a way and it's not just Japanese culture I like only I know I like a bunch of uh, the Asian cultures from China, India no, don't adapt so much of the anime lifestyle and thinking this is what Japanese people do that would be really honestly and but other than that, I hope you learned something. Please don't judge judge the otaku fans so harshly in thinking, oh, that's so weeaboo. Much it. Okay? You can like Japanese culture. You can want to wear a kimono. 
in around the house or whatever. But go going very public in it will be pretty bullish. <laughs> also, if people are do acting like I try to explain, like eating ramen all the time, thinking they know how to solve play because they watch an anime. It's Weibo, okay? And maybe just be gentle, you know, it's like, hey, maybe you should go do this instead to learn more about the culture, not just from anime. And that's pretty much it, okay? So I guess that's what I'm trying to do with this video. Hope you like it. What I always say. Okay, press the like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.